Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Got a phone call here sponsored by GoDaddy.com. Save 10% on your next GoDaddy purchase by using the coupon code CHRIS when you check out. This is Chris. Hey, um, I am Friendly Fire from the chat. You may know me or not. I'm just, uh, I've just got a few questions for you today. Sure. Try to keep it short. Trying to keep these calls to about three minutes or so. Okay, cool. Um, first question. I have a choice between a, um, uh, uh, a quad core processor that is 2.2 gigahertz or a dual core processor 2.5 gigahertz which one would be better uh, better is relative uh, but I would always say uh, go for as many cores as you possibly can because even if software is currently not optimized uh, for multiple cores it's certainly going to be going that direction uh, for a while, megahertz, or I guess now gigahertz, since we're dealing at that level, has been somewhat of a myth. And, you know, if an application uh, is designed with multiple cores in mind, you're going to be happier with more cores than less cores, despite the, uh, the speed, the raw speed. Even though it clocks in at a uh, higher uh, gigahertz level, it may not actually be faster in... Uh, actual use. Depends on optimization of code by and large. Uh, best suggestion then, uh, you know, you, you might check some independent uh, sites. Tom's Hardware has always had uh, really good benchmarks. Anon Tech uh, list kind of goes on and on to see how they've uh, specifically clocked those two processors. But uh, dollar for dollar, I'd always go with more cores uh, rather than just looking at uh, raw speed of the processors.